Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot to Essentials. In this video, we are going to create the unit test for the anime controller class. So for that, let's just create a new class here. Create test. And uh, so in the previous class, we were using this Spring uh, the Data JPA test. For this one, we have two options. Either we use Spring Boot test, but when we use this, Spring will try to load the context. So for example, if we create a simple test here, and I just try to run this, if I don't have my database running, the test will fail because the context will not be able to start. Now you will see here that it failed, probably because it couldn't find the database running. So if we are just unit testing and we don't want to check the context, we can uh, use that extended with spring extension dot class. So with this, we will be able to use the spring features, for example, the page ball, the page, uh, the request, the controllers without having to load the context. So that's the difference between this one and the spring boot test. Okay, so uh, for this, we are going to use Mokito, and uh, we have two uh, annotations that we are going to use. The first one, it's inject mocks. So what is inject mocks? It's used when you want to create class instances that needs to be tested inside your class. For example, we are trying to test anime controller inside the test, so we should use here private anime controller so when the you are not testing the target class you should use at mock so remember this the target class of your test class should be with inject mocks and when you are uh, using the classes that are going to support this anime controller this inject mocks then you just mock the behavior in this case, anime service, it will be anime service mock. We are just going to, to mock the behavior. So when we use inject mocks, uh, all the internal dependencies uh, will be initialized with these mock objects so the method can work correctly. Okay, now we have these two um, available attributes. Now we have to set up because we should, uh, since we are using mock, we have to tell, hey, when I execute the anime service mock, for example, find all, what should be returned? So we have to define all this behavior and using a spring, sorry, JUnit5 is not spring, we have this before each. So before, I think, uh, before spring5, it was before, and now with, sorry, JUnit5, it is before each, with JUnit4, it's at before. So public void uh, setup, and here the first method, if we go to anime controller, it's list all. So yeah, we are not going to start easy. Well, we need the new pageable. This is going to return a response entity of a page. We need to mock this. So when we call this guy, it's going to return something like this. So uh, let's create an object here, page implementation, and this page implementation, well, we will need enemy. So we do have some attributes being created for us here. Let's uh, move this to another class. Let's create a new package here. Let's call this uh, package util. And then we create a new class, enemy creator. And here we are going to add this method, but it will be public static. So we have um, different scenarios when we are working with the controller. So let's uh, change a little bit these scenarios. So for example, when we are updating, when we are uh, just creating, so we will need at least uh, three or four uh, different types here. So for example, we can change this one create anime to be saved. So this means that this anime does not have an ID. The second one, 
Uh, let me see. Maybe we will have a, a valid enemy. What's a valid enemy? It's when you already have the ID. And uh, when we update. So, for example, when we are updating, we will need to return something with a different uh, name, for example. And here we can create valid updated anime. Now we go into the anime repository test. We remove this guy. Let's do some refactoring pretty quick. And you can just uh, select Ctrl R and then you just type anime creator dot create anime to be saved. And then you replace all. You import this class and now everything it's working well let's first fix this problem right here so we can execute all the tests inside anime repository test and make sure that everything is working so while the tests are running let's go back to anime controller test okay so when we have list all it means that we are going to return something that is already in the database so basically we have to return a list of and then we call here anime creator dot create valid anime okay so we have a anime page now when I execute BDD Mokiro dot when anime service mock dot list all and here I can say argument matchers dot uh, list all sorry dot any and whatever object I'm sending to this list all I would like this to return my anime page okay so the first test that we're going to create here at display name so list all returns a pageable list of enemies when successful And then my test is the same. So list all, return list of enemies inside page object when successful. I think our anime repository didn't say list, but it's good to be specific. So um, let's uh, create here expected name. I'm expecting my list to have anime creator dot create a valid anime dot get name this is what i'm going to use to test and now anime controller dot list all and i can send the empty just return everything this returns a response entity but i would like the get body and then assertions dot assert that assertions from the assert j package be careful assert that anime page dot and then is not new first uh, i can just create a new three more two more actually so let's have three so assert that anime page dot to list is not empty and anime page dot to list dot get position zero dot get name is equal to expected name. There you go. Now we just uh, execute all the methods inside this class. Okay, and it's working. Now the second method inside anime controller is find by ID. Now we are going to copy this one. Let's write what we are expecting here. So find by ID, find by ID returns uh, an anime when 
successful okay so we change here expected id anime creator create valid anime dot get id and then anime controller dot find by id we can tell one this will return an anime anime this one is not a string and then we can do basically the same assertion so anime is not new and then anime.getid is not new and then anime.get get id is equal to expected id so when we do this uh we have to i said it's uh, find by id but i think it's find by yeah it's find by id i thought it was find by name so when we have here anime controller find by id it's going to come here find by id and we have to mock the behavior of anime service find by id so we are going to mock this service find by id right here so we can copy this one we did the mock when anime service mock dot find by id and i can tell any int just then return anime creator dot create valid anime okay now we test okay it's the next one it's a uh, find by name so it's similar to this one we copy this one and then find by name so find by name it returns a pageable list of enemies when successful it's the same thing okay so find by name we can uh, have the same id or name so let's copy the expected name from the previous method and then actually it's a very similar to this one but uh, is it going to return a page let's check find by oh unfortunately only a list for us so let's change this one find by name i can give a name dbz for example and this is going to return a list of enemy enemy list and we can assert here that the uh, enemy list is not no enemy list is not uh, empty as well and enemy list dot get position zero get name is equal to expected this is expected name oops i was changing the wrong method let me roll back here boom, 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 boom. there we go so find by name dbz get body list of enemy okay and then we change here to enemy list and it's basically the same as this one right here so let's copy this three and we replace this three but instead of uh, enemy page it's enemy list enemy list remove this two list and then enemy list get zero get name is equal to expected name so we test this entire class and the file my name returns a pageable so let's see what was the error so it's saying that it's uh, empty let's see why it's empty anime controller find by name dbz did i create here find my name no that's the problem there is no behavior for find by name find by name in string and then return list of anime creator valid anime execute again 
nice, it's working. Uh, now save. Let's uh, do the same. Let's copy this one because save is going to return an enemy only. So save creates an enemy when successful. Save creates an enemy. Let's just create creates enemy when successful. Okay, so now uh, create valid enemy and then enemy controller dot save. But we need another one here. So let's uh, change a couple of things here. Now we can uh, leave this one here. We're going to use and then anime creator dot create enemy to be saved. Anime to be saved and then anime to be saved. And now we can uh, assert that anime is not null, the one that was saved. Sorry, and then anime.getID is not null, and anime.getID is equal to this ID that we are expecting. Now we have to create a Mokido for this one as well. So here at the Mokido, let's copy this one. Not save. But this one I will do a bit uh, different. So when I try to save anime creator dot create anime to be saved, so when I send this object, then I'm going to return and create valid anime. So let's test. Okay, and then we have everything working. Now we need uh, the delete. So delete removes the enemy. Delete removes enemy when successful. So we are not going to need uh, any of this. We just have here enemy dot delete and we send the NID and this one is not going to return the body. Remember, this is just a response entity. And then we get this response entity, and then we just try is response entity not null, and then response entity get status code is equal to HTTP status dot no content, and then uh, response entity dot get body should be null. Uh, okay, then we have to prepare the Mokido and this is a bit different because we're not going to return anything so basically we would like to do nothing when the, the delete is triggered so bdd Mokido dot do nothing when anime service mock and then be careful we closed here uh, delete any int so I try to delete sending anything I'm not going to do absolutely nothing. And then uh, we can test our application. Okay, and since we are here, we can prepare the save to update. So basically it's like this one, but now we are updating. Basically when we call save with a valid enemy, we want to return a valid updated enemy. And now we can test the the update. So the update, uh, let me see, I think we can copy the save, it will be similar. So display name, update, save updated anime when successful. And here is the same, update, save updated anime when successful. Okay, so let's create here, create valid updated enemy. So this will be the expected enemy. So this one is valid updated enemy. And then 
well we have to check the name is the only thing that we have so let's uh, create another object here string uh, expected name valid updated enemy get name and now we can remove this one and then when we save valid uh, no actually we want to save the create valid enemy so enemy creator not create valid enemy get body so we have this one and we are expecting this to have this expected name from the updated enemy so assert that same 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 and the get name it's equal to expected name from the updated enemy let's test everything Oops, I tested only one class. I want to test absolutely everything. And there you go. We have all the tests working. Oof, that was a long video. So I hope you enjoyed. This is how we do unit tests with uh, JUnit 5, it's not even <laughs> Spring. So see you in the next video. Bye.